were just hopping out of the truck. We were going to our glassing knob over there and just had a big group of mouflon cut down this hill. It looked like there was a decent ram in there. So we're just gonna kind of still hunt through here with the storm coming. It's getting pretty windy and this is gonna be the safe side. So we're just gonna go and keep peeking down as we go, but ram looked pretty good. Left of the tree. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Great shot, great shot. Man, he just dropped on the spot. That's awesome. We caught this group as we were driving to get to a glassing knob and this ram was behind. You could instantly tell it was a shooter. We kind of still hunted not very long and you caught some of the ewes going and then this one stayed back, didn't know what we were, had the wind in our favor and just gave us a long enough pause that shot looked great. It looked like he went right down. See the round tree? The last I saw him, he kind of did like a death jump that way. Yeah. You mean that one on the, on the skyline, that around here? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. So head up here? Yeah. yeah. We still got 80 yards to go. Awesome. Central European mouflon and just gorgeous, gorgeous cape. This storm that rolled in this morning, doing the trick because it kind of cut the temp down and definitely has the animals out and moving today after that storm rolled through. It looks like there are going to be some showers later today. But just an awesome, awesome mouflon here in Croatia on the coast. Man. Who have white spots uh, on the face? I was gonna say I've never yeah, seen it on the face before. Yeah, only on this island, nowhere else. So if ever, ever, ever you see the trophy the, with these spots, you need to know it's from this island. Okay. Only here we have the that is like genetically we have these small white spots yeah. on the face. Yeah. Another gorgeous night here in Croatia. It's, man, it's been a heck of a time out here so far. We've had a great time. Tonight we're kind of really focusing in though. We're gonna look for a hybrid Krikri Ibex. We saw one here earlier in the trips. So we're back in the same spot. Hopefully that giant steps out. It's maybe like 45, 50 centimeters. Uh, or, okay. Uh, but they are in a really bad position. You know, how to get in the in the position to shoot? You know. Well, there was a pretty big one in there, so we drove as far as we can. They still got a pretty good hike in front of us. They didn't really go where we wanted to, but we're running out of daylight, so we're going to see if we can't get within range of them.
Holy smokes, that happened quick. Yeah. Snuck right into him. There were a couple that we did stuff. I was a quick shot, but he was going away and going down the hill. I'm just going to give him a minute, but and Marco was saying this, this is a giant hybrid creek creek, so that's pretty sweet. Can't wait to, can't wait to go look at it. Down? Oh, sweet. Fair coming, look. Look, you're going to complete the fruit. Look how many blood. Yeah. That's uh, awesome. Yeah. You go very far. Well, we got a call from the spotter that. He saw a good one and he wasn't lying. We were over on the coast to where we had seen a big group the first night we were here and boogie to the center. And uh, look, they were on top of the hill and there were a bunch of them in a bad spot. And finally we were losing light. So I had to go make a play. And literally the second we got to, to the top of the hill, they must've done a 180 and spun to come our direction. Cause we were, we were just in the middle of them when we topped the hill. And this guy separated just for a split second, made it count. Just a stud of a hybrid Cree Cree here in Croatia. came to the center part of the island here there's a strong south wind so we got all the hills that are out of the wind thinking that Mouflon and everything will be on this side of it really trying to find a group of Cree Cree Ibex today um, but just with how windy it is out on the coast I think they're gonna be all hunkered down on this side it'll be a short morning this morning because the ferry's only running one time a day from the island to the mainland so we got to make sure to catch that this afternoon They're just looking at us. Well, we just got around this corner, got a flat spot to set up, and that looks like a giant mouflon. It is pretty windy, so I kind of 
put the bullet back on him. We'll hopefully let him drift right in. But he was definitely getting nervous. He saw us. The shot felt good though. We just went into some thick stuff. He hasn't come out yet. I think he's down right over there. That is a giant mouflon. Looked like good. That was a nice hit, yeah. yeah. He couldn't went more than 20, 30 meters. Is he? he didn't come out of the bush. Oh, yeah. Probably he stays over there in the bush. It was really nice here. This is going to be a steep, sweaty, and brutal hike up. Shooting across, I didn't realize how steep it was over here. Distance 260. Yeah, he was here. And he went like this. Wow! 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 giant of a free-range Central European mouflon here in Croatia. I mean just a giant. Carries this mass all the way through. One of those rams that doesn't matter how you look at him, he is a giant. But now he's like that right there. Look at the mass. You don't see that in mouflon. That is awesome. What a way to end an amazing trip to Croatia. Started on the far east side hunting for giant stags and just had a crazy one that he came roaring in right to us at 12 yards. So many good memories in between this, but man, this is one heck of a way to end a trip here in Croatia.